Hello everybody, this is Daniel from the GoTo family. Today guys, I'm gonna give you a tour of the Disney Swan Hotel here in Orlando, guys. So you can see it's right behind me, guys. And we are right in front of the entrance. So let's get the start going. All right, so right in front of the entrance, we have this beautiful garden. And you can see the swans in there. Nice, beautiful fountain. On the other side is the valet parking and next to it is the self park area. Now on this side, you have, this is the bus stop right here. I actually never took a bus from right here, but you can see right there, it says Disney Springs, Magic Kingdom, and Animal Kingdom. So this is where the bus comes right here to go to the different theme parks or Disney Springs, if that's where you wanna go. So we're just gonna make our way here through the entrance, through the lobby, and I'll show you guys what the Disney Swan looks like. All right guys, so when you come here and you park in your car, this is where they're gonna come and take your bags or you're gonna take your own bags. And so if you're self parking, you're gonna take your car and bring it to the parking lot. Or if you're doing valet parking, they will park your car for you. Okay, so we're gonna go in right here. And ah, feels so nice and cool right here. And there's this nice, beautiful smell when you walk in here. All right, so this is the lobby, guys. So to my right is where you're gonna check in. And you can see there's a decent amount of action today uh, because it's still early in the morning. So this is when people are checking out. And of course, some people are coming to check in. So you're gonna check in right over here. Uh, and they also have mobile check-in as well, right over there. So you can do also express checkout and so on. All right, now, as you walk in, to the left, you're going to have a Disney store. Now, this is not the biggest Disney store around, but you'll be able to buy souvenirs and other things. So let's just take a look to see what's in here. So you have some Disney clothes right there. You can get a Disney back 2021. You can get a Disney globe. Just, you know, to say that you came here in 2021. You also have some board games right over here. We got a sweater, we got hats. I like this hat a lot, actually. Yellow hat, bright, stands out. So these are more like the men, the men's hats. And up there you have some shirts and sweaters. And here's more like the women's section. So more sweaters, more clothes. Here you can get a misting fan. Now this is gonna come in handy, guys, because it gets really hot here in Orlando in the summer, especially as there's lots of people and you're going to the parks. Right here, you're gonna have your sunscreen, so very convenient to come and buy that. And you're gonna have some bathing suits for kids and grown-ups alike over there if you are in need. You can even buy some Mickey socks. You get some stuffies towels you can get some M&Ms over here and let's see what they have on the other side if you need a new suitcase they got you covered right here you got some cups over here and you can see how much they are the mugs they're $14.99 unless otherwise stated you can have a Mickey, a Minnie, a Donald Duck. You can even have the Seven Dwarfs right there. Also, my kids really like these Koran, so um, for drawing, so definitely a hit with my kids. So you kind of get the idea, guys. This is what they have, and these candies, uh, we kind of see them at every Disney store that uh, we've come to. Like I said, it's not the biggest Disney store around, so uh, if you're going to the parks, you're probably gonna wanna buy your souvenirs at the parks, but if you need something quick, quick, 
uh, and you, you know, you've already went to the park, you missed out on something that they have here, you can come here and buy it. But like I said, if you're going to the parks for toys and souvenirs, probably a better bet for you. So as we walk out of the uh, Disney store, we're gonna come next to this Java Coffee Eats and Sweets. Well, this is a bit of a hit here. It's kind of like the central coffee shop here. You can come here, you can get pastries, uh, you can get uh, coffees, of course. They also have drinks as well, so you can see they have you know, a big collection of wine here. You can see the prices for some of these. So you can buy some of these and you can take them to your room if you want. So this is a cool little spot here. So Java Coffee. And I believe you can do mobile order if I'm not mistaken and you can do pickup here. Uh, I haven't tried that though. So uh, I can't say for sure, but I think you, you can do that. So just looks nice here, very trendy. And here, you can see what they have here, so. A coffee will run you $4 for 12 ounces. And uh, if you get a latte, it'll run you $5.50 for 12 ounces, $7.50 for 20 ounces. And you can also get stuff on tap. You can also get uh, pastries, bagels, muffins, croissant. You can see the prices there. Around $4.50 for a bagel. You can get desserts. And you can also get salads over here as well. So you can see the prices around $6 to $10 for most of the things here. You can get a parfait. Let's see what they have on the wall here. So you could get um, oatmeal right over here. You could get these Nutri-Grain bars. You could get cereal. These are gonna be to take to your room and you're gonna buy some milk and you're gonna have that for breakfast. The Cheerios are $2. If you wanna have a cheap breakfast, just buy one of these to take to your room. You also have some other stuff down beneath like cookies. This is going to be the fridge section. So you can come here, you can buy a sandwich. You can actually get a banh mi sandwich right there. That's a banh mi. You can get a fresh sandwich. I think that's a smoked turkey sandwich right there. You can get, I believe, a French Connection, which is going to be a croissant sandwich. I believe ham in there. You can get a spicy chicken cordon bleu. So some pretty decent options right here, guys. The sandwiches are around $8 to $9.50. Chicken Caesar salad right there. And you can also get a vegan protein bowl. You can see it has some chickpeas. has some olives in there. Drinks for grown-ups right here. You can have your tank rays, your white claw, and some of that other stuff. You can have some cold wine, San Pellegrino, if that's what you want. You can have your soft drinks over here. So around 350 per bottle, Dr. Pepper diet. Pretty decent options all in all. And um, here, I didn't show you guys this, but this is their sandwich section right now. So this, I believe, is subject to change, but you can kind of see that we saw some of these options over there and I think they make some of these fresh here as well. So you kind of get the idea guys. Um, you can come here morning to night but uh, this place closes pretty early now. I don't know what the official time is but I actually came here and it was closing at around 8 p.m. So definitely get here before 8 p.m. especially if you want to buy cereal for the next day or if you want to buy something for supper, something cheaper. Uh, definitely come here pretty early because uh, they don't stay open very late. So, right now we're kind of like in the central area right here. So you see that we, you can kind of go to the east elevators. If you go up ahead, you go to the Walt Disney World Dolphin restaurants and Disney Water Taxi. And here you can go to the west elevators. Let's pull this up so you can see that the Java is located next to the west elevators. So you can kind of get situated here and of course in the center you have the Swan Fountain, just kind of like how we saw the one in front of the hotel. And you see that there's a lot of people gathering here right now. Some people are leaving. Now, if you go this way, guys, in front of the Java Coffee, you'll see they have a really nice seating area. I really like sitting here. Uh, you can see they have booths, basically, and they have these big spacious tables. They also have plugs there. So uh, you can come here and drink your coffee in the morning 
uh, perhaps have your breakfast here at Java, and you can do your work if you, if you have work to do. You can see lots of people are sitting right over there. Okay, as we make our way this way, uh, we have a business center right over here. So uh, I haven't used it, but if you need to use the business center, there it is. So we're just gonna walk a little bit this way. And we see that here, so the west elevators are to my right, and then we have meeting rooms and ballrooms uh, to my left. So these are the elevators. Uh, they have four elevators, and this is where you're gonna take the elevator to go to your room. Now, they have a garden, so I'm gonna go out. I just kinda wanna show you guys a little bit of what the garden looks like. So they have doors, you can come out here. And this is it, guys, this is the garden right here. So if you're coming here to eat at Java, or you're having a drink, um, you can either stay inside there or you can come out over here and you can relax right over here. They have once again, nice beautiful fountain with these swans and they have some tables here under the shade. It's all pretty cool. All right, now I wanna go back in because I don't wanna confuse you guys. So I'm gonna go back in this way All right, so I'm going back in this way. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go left. So we're gonna go to the WDW Dolphin Restaurants and Disney Water Taxi. All right, here we go. And there's also a seating area here to my right as well. So you can see there's ample seating areas, uh, especially outside right over here. So you can open these doors and you can go out over there. All right guys, so here we are. This is kind of like the restaurant section of the uh, Swan. So to my right, you have Il Molino, New York. So this is a restaurant, gets pretty packed here at night. So you might want to make some reservations. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. So this is it. It's, it's closed right now, but this place gets packed. It's, it's an Italian restaurant. You can see what they have here. So there are hours of operation. They have a lounge from 3.30 to 11 and they have uh, their dining room is from five to 11. So the prices will be, uh, you know, what you expect. So a steak will run you about $44. And you can see some of the other prices here. If you get chicken, it's gonna be a little cheaper, $27. And you can see the prices for their pasta. I don't know if you can see that, but around 20 something dollars right over here. Here, definitely make reservations. Now, uh, on the other side, you have this place called Chill Frozen Drinks. Uh, it hasn't been open in the few days that we've been here. So I haven't seen it open yet, but you can come here and you can get cocktails and drinks. And uh, it says right there that all cocktails are $15. They make margaritas and they make some cold old fashioned, they make some daiquiris, pina coladas, frozen lemonades, rum runners, mudslides. So they make a bunch of different kinds of drinks, but unfortunately it is not open as of right now. Now, as we make our way to this other side, they're going to have some other restaurants. My favorite over here is kimonos. So you can see right there, kimonos. So we're just gonna walk a little bit. And this is kimonos, guys. So it's a Japanese restaurant. It's a sushi restaurant. So if you feel for sushi, if you feel for Japanese, this is where you come. And you can see some of the prices are on their things. In my opinion, it's reasonable for what you get. So you can get sashimi, you can get sushi, you can get all kinds of different rolls. And it's pretty good. And like I said, fair for what you get. It's closed right now. It opens every day from 6 to 11 p.m. 
So there you go, kimonos right over there. On this side. So, Lakeview room, pool area, splash bar and grill and the fitness center, so. This is the garden grove right over here, guys. This is the entrance to it. And let's take a look at their menu quick, quick. So you can come here for breakfast. So you can actually get oatmeal for just $7, guys. You get overnight oats. So some of the same things that we saw at Java, actually, you can get right over here. So you can get also some omelet. You can get eggs, Benedict. They have a kid's menu, which is cool. Uh, I should mention that at Kimono's, I'm not sure if they do have a kid's menu, they might but I'm not sure if they do. So this is what it looks like. I did not uh, come to eat here yet. Just take a quick look to see what it looks like. It's big and spacious and they have this tree, this giant tree in the, in the middle. It's kind of quiet in here, perhaps because it's a little later and maybe people are finishing up. but it is a spacious place. And I really dig this tree. They have these lanterns decorated on it right over there. So it's kind of cool. So just um, across from Mil Molino, so you'll see that it says on the wall, Disney Water Taxi, Walt Disney World Dolphin, and pool areas. So that's exactly what we're going to check out now. Because the roommate is All right, guys, so this is it right here. So we're outside, and wow, guys, beautiful day right here in Orlando, guys. Now, to my right from over here, this is the boardwalk. So you can actually walk to Epcot from over here. And if you walk that way, you're gonna get past the Yacht Club. It's in front of me, you're going to have the Disney Dolphin, guys. So the Disney Dolphin is a sister hotel to the Disney Swan. So you can stay at either or, and as you stay here, you can walk in between the two because they are connected. So that's kind of cool, guys. All right, so we're gonna go left, all right, because we wanna show you guys what's right here on the property of the Disney Swan and the Disney Dolphin because like I said, they are connected. So what you can do at one, you can do at the other. So this is kind of their own boardwalk right here. We're walking by the water. And you can see they have in the distance, someone is using the Swan paddle boat, guys. So that's kind of cool. And we can see that the Disney dolphin looks like a giant pyramid, guys. And it has these cool dolphins on the side, whereas the Disney Swan has, well, swans on the side. So brother and sister, brother, brother, or sister, sister hotels. I'm not exactly sure how you want to call it, but they are related and you can stay at either one or the other. You can see the Disney Swan is now a little bit behind us, the hotel. And this is a pool, guys. So this is actually a small pool right over here, but it is a pool and I believe it's the pool for the Disney Swan. Let's see if I can show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is the pool right here, guys. You can see we have the Swan branding up above there. So this is a pool right over here, guys. So you can see that it's uh, pretty laid back, guys. It's not a huge pool. Pretty laid back. You can come here and chill by the water and enjoy a nice, quiet, relaxing dip in the water. So this is kind of what it looks like. Once you need to clean yourself off, you can use this shower right over here. You can also play some giant chess if that's what you want. They also have some ping pong and some pool. You can shoot some pool right over here. And they have a little bar right over here as well, guys. So if you want to enjoy a bit of shade, you can definitely come here and do so if you want to enjoy a drink. You can come right here, guys. It's like a nice little, a nice little hut. And you can come and you can get some drinks. And as we make our way this way, there's like a small little, it's like a little jacuzzi, guys. And we'll keep walking. So 
So to my right is a little play area where uh, you know you can bring your kids. They can play right there. We see some people are running right now. So there is a play area for kids right over here. I'll try to show you guys what it looks like. What I like guys is they have this nice cool authentic sand right here. So this is the play area. Pretty nice. So this is an option for your kids to come play if they don't feel like being at the pool. But they have a decent amount of things to do right over here, guys. You also have, like I said, the paddle boats, this one paddle boats over there. You can play some volleyball over there. They also have, this is kind of like a beach, guys. Uh, and so you can see that it's kind of blocked off with the, well, it's blocked off with this kind of string over there. And I believe it tells you that for your own safety, please don't swim in the water. So they are not recommending that you swim in the water and you shouldn't be swimming uh, in the water right over here. Now, you can see they have these lounge chairs. So if you want to come and you want to do some sun lounging, you can do it right over here. As you can see, it's not super packed. I can spot about two people doing it right. And of course, the Disney Dolphin is to my right over there. It looks like a bigger hotel than the Disney Swan, doesn't it? I think it's because of that pyramid. It just looks like a bigger hotel. I don't know which one is bigger, but it looks like a bigger hotel than the Disney Swan to me. And over here, guys, is the pool. And we have some footage for the pool, guys, that we're going to roll for you right now. As I'm walking back, guys, uh, just some remarks about the Disney Swan. Guys, I think it's a really nice hotel. Guys, as you guys saw inside, it just looks very nice, uh, even trendy, I would say. Uh, it's clean, it's nice, it's, uh, it's trendy. I like the Java coffee that they have inside. Kimono's restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants inside of a hotel. Now, I don't believe that the Disney Swan is actually a Disney like a Disney Disney hotel I think they have some kind of partnership with Disney so they use the Disney name um, you know attached to their name uh, I don't really see a huge huge difference uh, the quality seems to be up to par it's nice it's clean it's modern it's a place where you want to come stay they have a nice huge pool as you guys saw it's a beautiful gorgeous pool and you're also really close to the Epcot and the boardwalk so all winning uh, points in my, in my opinion. So if you guys are interested in coming to check out or coming to stay here at the Disney Swan, I think it's a, it's a very fine hotel. So, all right guys, so that's gonna do for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more content. I hope the video was informational enough for you guys. If you guys have any questions, you wanna stay here, there's something that I missed out on and you guys are wondering, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.